Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Everything and More Store Show. I'm your host, Mike. Um, today, I want to go ahead and uh, just give you a little bit of game. Um, so, uh, the question is, how can you make money on eBay with no money, not thrifting, not having anything? Okay, so, here's what you can do, right? What you can do is you can go to, like, a local jewelry store, right? So, preferably one that has like a couple models of the same pieces, right? So, let's just say if they have a Movado watch, whatever, right? Uh, then there's like a few more that, okay, cool, well, we can do that, right? So, you want to view it, right? Take a few photos like regular, just as if it's yours, and you post it online, right? So, assuming you're going to need a deal, right? So, maybe you could work some sort of deal with the owner that you could that you could guarantee so many purchases of, of different little pieces of jewelry and you get a discounted rate. So anyway, take the photos of the jewelry, whether it be a ring, bracelet, watch, necklace, whatever you have, right? And uh, unless it's something real rare, I would probably just do buy it now. But people do buy, you know, people do win auctions on, you know, they do auctions that do well on eBay too. But anyway... And then you just, you know, of course you're going to raise up the price, you know, and make sure it's enough. You have your fees and then you have your, you know, your promotional fees, all these other things. You, so, okay, let's just say, for example, I'm selling the bracelet. The, bro, the bracelet I'm selling is $2,000, right? Now, I'm a jewelry store owner. You come, you photograph it, right? So $2,000, you are going to take 200 right? So, I don't know, maybe let's it for three. Make a hot little 700 bucks on the sale. You know what I mean? Uh, you're booming. Now, a lot of jewelry stores, especially like not pawn shop ones, but like let's say like Daniels or one of those, they a lot of that stuff that they have is not like the type. Like it's they're a little bit pricey, but a lot of these things have sales too because they know they got a bunch of BS uh, inventory. So I like today I just got a text right now for for Daniels. Everything is. Everything is 80% off the whole store. So imagine you go and a, and a bracelet is uh, however many thousand dollars, right? You go, it's 80% off. Let's say it's $2,000. It's $400 bracelet. It's, you know what I mean? Come on. It's a no brainer. So anyway, and you can find a lot of these sales with these jewelry stores too. So the jewelry stores. Now, just be ready though. Just be ready to pay those fees because you're going to pay. A, a substantial amount of fees but then again it's all out of something that you know you obviously you got to go buy the item once it sells or whatever and then the hassle is well, if it doesn't sell then you're going to have to explain i mean not that if it doesn't sell but if it's already sold in the store and then you sold it online then you're going to have to explain to the customer excuse me you're going to have to explain to the customer why you don't have it i wouldn't even explain, i just have i'm sorry unfortunately this item is not in uh the inventory anymore um, might I interest you in another item? If not, I have, unfortunately, I will have to cancel your order. I apologize about the inconvenience and thank you for your patience and understanding. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's just something to think about, man. So, if you don't have no type of, you know, you're 18 years old. You have no type of money. You don't have any, which, uh, these 18 year olds are, money's, money's accessible to a different level from when I was a kid. When I was a kid, money wasn't. If, if you had 20 bucks, you have money. Now it's like you're this people are, you know, 100,000 heirs, then it's regular. Like someone has a million and it's not even a rich man anymore. When I was a kid, a millionaire was a rich man. So, anyway, uh, let's just say you do that uh, four times a month. You make 700 profit each one, 14, you know what I'm saying, times two. You're, you're booming. That's 2,800 a month off of. Nothing of your own. Taking a couple photos and shipping something. And then you just got to buy it up front. You know what I'm saying? So, that's something to think about. There's no money up front. Now, you probably would be better. It, so, what I would do if it was me is I would... Because a lot of these jewelry stores, they be having like big sales, right? Because they know a lot of their stuff is not like... It's not... It's not top tier jewelry. Especially like the mall jewelry stores, right? Like, let's just say, uh, what's it called? Uh, like Daniels. They're like, they're whatever. You know what I mean? Kind of in the between. And then you got like a little bit higher ranking ones, the beers and all these other ones, right? Each 
little region, states, whatever they have their own. But if if I was you and you were trying to get something popping, I probably would go to the pawn shop because you gotta think there's they don't have no no craftsmanship pride in these items because they bought them from some crackhead somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Or not necessarily crackhead. It could just be somebody who needed the money. But a lot of times it's going to be some sort of like dope fiend or something that's just trying to get some money. So, bam, they sell off a, you know, whatever, a bracelet, a watch, whatever. And so, the pawn shop, they already got it for next to nothing anyway. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to sell that thing for... This is a pawn shop not far from where I live. They, they got a, a Nugget-style pinky ring for sale with some dimes in it for $120. You know what I mean? Like, that right there could probably sell for 300 on eBay, if not a little bit more. <laughs> So a pawn shop, they don't have no, uh, you know, there's no sentimental value attached to their item. They get a lot of stuff. It's just like me, like all of the stuff that I get whenever I'm about to, you know what I mean? It might be real valuable stuff, but for me, it's, I just look at it like inventory. It's no big deal. You know what I'm saying? If I can make a little profit, get it off. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just like uh, last night, I got a, um, a Michelin Ness, uh, Phoenix Suns. Um, fit a t-shirt, all this, it's no big deal, like, I got it for four bucks, so, yeah, sure, you can have it for 17 bucks, I don't care, so there's no emotional, when, a lot of people, why didn't you sell that for 28, because no, it's not that serious, I, I made it a couple of hours off, and I'm getting it off, so, anyway, yeah, I probably would go to, like, a pawn shop, you know, or, or, you know, get, like, a real big sale, um, you know, you just gotta tap in to see who has whatever it is that you're looking for, and that could be happen. That can happen with anything. You get what I'm saying? Even if a, a local thrift store, if they have some stuff that's a little bit more expensive, maybe they don't get as much business. You know what I mean? Take a little few photos of it. See if you talk to the manager, get it priced down. Um, the the one where I get like the majority of my stuff from, they're not re they're not pricing nothing down because everything goes in in uh, like the tag color. You get what I'm saying? So, for example, I got two of these in two days. This right here, right? By the way, look out for these, okay? They sell. So this right here I bought for 15 bucks. This will go for 50 bucks all day. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to quadruple. The last one I got was for the same price, but half of that. So it's 7 bucks, seven fifty. But anyway, look out for these. They go, okay? It's the, the Natural Visions. This will go for about 50 bucks. It's a 12-pack of soap. But anyway, they basically this is how they do it. Is they got the tag and then... Whatever the tag of the day, the newest tag is not on sale, but then these other ones are on sale. You know, but then they have Wednesdays, clothes and shoes are all, all of them are half. And then Saturday, the whole store is half except for, yeah, matter of fact, look, this is how I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you a little bit of game, man. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Come come down and, and, and shop where I shop. If you're in the Southern California area, there's a, um, there's a store called uh, Valley Thrift Store. It's in Escondido, California, right? Come on, man. They got deals. It's like a mall. It's like the size of a Walmart. You know what I'm saying? I'm there every day. I'm trying to tell you. So, um, if you're in that area, man, tap in. You you'll probably uh, you'll probably catch up with something nice. But anyway, you can do that with a number of things. You know, basically, you photograph it, whatever. Or even if you're uh, you do that with even honestly, you can do that with car. It's just like these people do with houses when they're buying houses with no money. It's like the same concept. So you could, if you had a, a specialty car or something like that. Now this, this maybe it would be worth the five bucks, of course, for the auction. But you have a specialty car. You don't have a specialty car, but your neighbor, whoever, he's trying to sell it. All right, cool. Don't even worry. Let, I'm saying, let, let me get that from you. You know what I mean? You'll take your little photos or whatever, post it, let the, let the bids build up. Next thing you know, you you know. What, I mean, this is just potential. Like, it's not, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but these is all our potential, you know, probabilities of what could happen so anyway if you want to uh you know sell something with no money with no money in a nutshell uh j go to the go to the vendor photograph it and list it you know what i'm saying worst case scenario you might ha worst case scenario you might hey i'm sorry unfortunately this is out of stock i apologize i apologize about the inconvenience um uh, you know thank you for your patience and understanding you know what i mean you might risk like a bad feedback but only like some real, real Karens will give you bad feedback for something like that. It's like, come on, bro, I'm out, I'm out of stock. Like, what, you mad? I've seen it happen, though. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen some Karens. But, Tell me it was out of stock. Okay. You flip out at Bonds and Safeway when they don't have your favorite cookie? Like, come on, man. Anyway. 
just a little bit of game for you, man. I hope you guys have a good day. You know what I'm saying? A productive day. You know, get to thrifting, get to sourcing, get to, get to you know, getting a hold of your stuff. You feel me? Um, I hope it goes good. I hope you benefited from this video. If you did, please give me a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much, and I'm out.